Good afternoon, everybody. It's, uh, it's Jamie Carroll here uh, from, from Play More Golf. Uh, many thanks for taking time to to join us um, for this uh, for online webinar uh, this afternoon. We know you're all really busy at your clubs, uh, but many thanks for making time to uh, to find out a bit more about what we what we're up to at the moment. Um, and obviously, with the with the uh, agenda really of showing you how golf clubs and uh, uh, golf clubs that are part of the Golf Club Managers Association um, with, the, with the club managers and secretaries there are actually adding 100 new members to their club over the, over the course of, of a 12-month period. So just going to go in a bit of detail to show you how those golf clubs are doing that with, with us at Play More Golf. Um, so uh, this won't take longer than half an hour um, and uh, we'll obviously uh, get started and go through, some, go through a, bit of a, a bit of information for you. Um, before we get started, there's a couple of ways to, to interact on this, uh, on this webinar this afternoon. So um, um, you can feel free to ask any questions at any time. If you just uh, select the chat button in the toolbar at the, at the bottom of your or top of your screen there, my colleague Jake Rhodes, Jake will be on hand to answer any of your questions uh, this afternoon over the next uh, the next half an hour. Uh, also, just for my peace of mind, um, also on that toolbar, there's a button that says raise your hand. Um, if you can hear me loud and clearly, could you click the raise your hand button for me? So uh, great, I'm not just talking to myself, so that's, uh, that's always a good start. So uh, I'll be asking you sometimes to to, to take part and click raise your hand every now and again as well if you're not comfortable with chatting or answering any questions but obviously Jake is on hand to answer any questions that you've got over the next half hour or so. So again um, just a little little image there with an arrow uh, where that chat button is so I know Marie um, uh, you've used that already and Mark you've used that already so many thanks for, for using that and getting started. So the agenda for today is really just to have a bit of a recap of where the golf membership market is in the UK. We know the challenges over a number of years, um, but just a bit of a recap on that. Uh, what we do at Play More Golf, what we are, what we do. Um, there's a number of people on here today that uh, you know, recognize the name. We've had a conversation in the past, so give you a bit of an update of, uh, of what, how we've evolved um, in regards to our partnerships with golf clubs and how we work with them. Um, We'll talk about five things you must do when launching a flexible membership to add 100 new members. So that will link back to the clubs that we're working with and how they're using our platform to do that. And we'll also show you how much profit other golf clubs are generating um, by working with us at Play More Golf. So a couple of case studies as well. On that note, um, Mick Thorpe from Scarcroft and Richard Jagger from, uh, from Bruff Golf Club were potentially going to join us today. Um, they, they're, they're, they're obviously Bruff and Scarcroft, are, are we work with them at Play More Golf, um, and, they're, and they're also GCMA members. Unfortunately, uh, Mick uh, couldn't make it, um, and also Richard was trying to make it, but as you, as you, you may well be aware, they're hosting a, the Bruff Classic Pro-Am at the moment over the last two days, so he's a bit caught up in that at the moment. But they've both said that if you want to touch base with uh, with themselves, Mick at Scarcroft Golf Club on the outskirts of Leeds and, and Bruff Golf Club near Hull, you're more than welcome to give them a call in the office just to catch up on their thoughts of, of what we're doing with them. At the end of this session as well, um, we'll uh, we've got a little bit of a bonus in there to let you know about, so uh, hold on until the end and we'll, we'll pass, that, pass that on to you as well. So, the UK membership market, there are, these are numbers I'm sure you're sure you've seen um, thrust in front of your face over the, over the past few years, but there are 2.3 million participating golfers in the UK. Uh, that's, that's staying fairly, fairly level or increasing. Um, so, you know, the doom mongers about the game of golf, it's going backwards, et cetera, et cetera. People playing golf is, is, is increasing, which is great, or it was staying flat. So um, obviously golf clubs like yourselves are doing great work in getting people into the game that have never played before. But at less than a million of them are affiliated to a golf club as a member. So that means there are nearly a one point, one, nearly one and a half million golfers that play golf, but not members of a golf club. And that's where we help clubs. On average, golf clubs are, are in a net loss position of 15 full members per year. On average, those members in the UK pay somewhere between 800 and 1200 pound a year. Um, a lot number of golf clubs obviously charge more than that and some less, but that's the average number. 
Um, the average age of a traditional golf member is rising by two years um, per year as well. So uh, again, numbers I'm sure you're used to. Bit of a, an overview of what we do. So 100, over 160 golf clubs choose Play More Golf to host and um, use our proven online platform to control their flexible membership category. Uh, we then uh, spend lots of energy and focus in generating lots of inquiries to, for someone to join your golf club. Um, we have a, a, a big support team across the UK to make sure that golf clubs are getting the most out of their partnership with, with us at Playing More Golf. There's 24 seven sales and customer service support for you at the club and at all of our clubs, but also for, our, for, for members across, the, across, across that as well. We've got 160 plus golf clubs that we work with. That's growing by about 12 to 15 clubs per month. Uh, we've also got over 5,000 members over those clubs over that period of time. Some clubs have been working with us for three years. Some have been literally three minutes. Um, one thing we do, we do now as well is allow golf clubs to price their own flexible Play More Golf category. So some of you on this webinar may well just associate Play More Golf with a £325 membership category. That's no longer that have to be the case. It can be anything between £650 and £195. So it's totally dependent and flexible to each and every golf club. Because as we know and understand, every golf club is different. Um, obviously, we work with the GCMA, but we also work with Wales Golf, England Golf and the 59 Club. Our target market uh, for golf clubs on behalf of and partnership with golf clubs is that unfrequent golfer that plays once a month. They still want the tangible benefits of being a member of a golf club, but they don't get value from a full seven day golf membership. Hence, they don't join a club um, or chosen in the past not to renew. Um, but obviously, that we're, we're, we're massively passionate about people that want that tangible benefit and that sense of belonging to an individual golf club, but obviously getting, getting other benefits that suit them at the same time. A Play More Golf member, like I said, there's over 5,000 of them. They're on average uh, 48 years of age. They play between eight and 10 rounds of golf a year. Obviously it's a points-based category hosted on our platform. Members only use half of their allocated points per year. That means the value per round is 99 times out of 100 more profitable to, to a golf club than their full members because obviously your full members tend to play an awful lot of golf so the value per round can sometimes be quite low depending what category they are members on um eight percent of our members actually upgrade to full membership the vast majority of play more golf members use their membership off peak times that's after one o'clock in the afternoon and we've got some really strong retention rates as well. So over 80% of flexible members on our platform renew the following year. Um, there's a quick, a quick uh, view there of our map. Um, so obviously over 160 golf clubs across the country there. Uh, we launched with our first international club in January 2019. The reason why it's not on that map is that it's in Abu Dhabi. So I have to scroll a, a long way east to see that map. Like I said, there's uh, on average 10 to 15 new clubs becoming a partner and using our platform each month. Uh, and we're currently discussing uh, partnerships with over 200 golf clubs in the UK. So the first thing, um, uh, that uh, you should do when you're looking golf clubs that we're working with who are, are on course to add over 100 members flexible members to their club each year is to develop an efficient yield managed points credit system so here are the um here is an example of a points uh points matrix uh, that a golf club gets to set using our platform um this is cardiff golf club in south wales um you can obviously, um, uh, one thing that you may not be aware of, those that, who are on here who maybe you've spoken to at some point, is that you can now, clubs can now yield their um, points matrix for their Play More Golf members seven days a week. This time last year, or even towards the end of last year, that was only midweek and weekend. So, and all the benefits that Cardiff Golf Club have added to their flexible membership category with us here are chosen by the club. 
The reasons for this is to drive bookings to um, go available to available tee times that you have on your golf course. Um, this makes those tee times more available, so you get to choose a booking window that your flexible members can play within. And this drives contract people joining and renewing, um, drives contracted membership revenue to your club, reducing the reliability on unreliable weather-dependent green fee revenue. The second thing you, you must do when, when launching a flexible membership and what clubs have done with us is to develop a real-time online booking platform. So um, nearly half of our members use their Play More Golf members app. And obviously we interface with lots of different tee sheets across the UK. So uh, our members app is absolutely, uh, it makes things life really easy for the member, but also really easy for the club and make sure their points are managed properly, that they're not able to book a round of golf at times that where you don't want them to play. Uh, so that's all controlled and police and administrated for you. This allows you to retain control of your tee sheet, your flexible members. It also delivers real-time booking and instant points management. So you don't have to get bogged down with administration, spreadsheets, uh, voucher schemes, whatever, all, you know all that all that all that all that process that takes time and administration time and, and takes you away from running your business um, this really enables you to to, to 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 do all of that with our online platform also flexible members tend to spend as much in uh, in ancillary or secondary spend within the club as your full members so our, obviously, we've got years of experience doing this, lots and lots of thousands of members joining, renewing, and booking. Um, so we've got some really good statistics. So on average, a flexible member would spend £4 per round in the bar on food and drink or £2.50 in the golf shop. £2.50 in the golf shop nowadays can be, you know, a couple of cans of Coke and a, and, and, and a Mars bar kind of, or a bag of teas. Um, the third thing what you should do for your flexible members is because all these, you know, that 1.4 million people that have left golf club membership over the years, um, they want the ability to, to obviously to, they've gone and played different golf courses over that period of time. So they, they've, some of them have got in the habit of playing different courses, but they don't want to settle at one course as a full member. So your flexible membership should allow them to play the golf courses, but it shouldn't be a free reciprocal arrangement like you have for your full members. It should be revenue generating. So all of our over 5,000 members, they obviously get to join one golf club uh, that, and call that their home club. So let's say, you know, Scarcroft Golf Club in Leeds, I can join there. The vast majority of my points to be used at Scarcroft, I also have a portion of my points to use at other 170 other golf courses across the country, but also they can now use those flexible points at their home club as well. So if I join Scarcroft and I just want to play Scarcroft, I can do. If I join Scarcroft, I want to play other golf courses across the country. I've got that choice. It's totally flexible for me. But the key element is that any, any of, of my points that I use at other golf clubs away from Scarcroft, that revenue is generated and travels to the golf club I use those points at. So it's not only is it contracted membership revenue, but it's also reciprocal revenue for different golf clubs that we work with across the country. Number four point, what you should do is be, be proactive. You know, um, if you've got a significant marketing budget, then fantastic. But you'll only, you know, golf clubs that we work with only join that volume of people over the year by us at Play More Golf delivering them tangible inquiries. You know, that's name, email address, and phone number of somebody that wants to join that golf club. You know, it's, this is not competition data of entering a competition, shall we say. It's not suspective um, email addresses. This is people that are genuinely interested and qualified to join golf clubs that we work with. So um, we also use an efficient customer relationship management um, system to be able to convert those with the golf club from an inquiry through to a sale. We focus heavily on digital, but we also focus on traditional marketing methods as well, whether that's, um, you know, delivering to each club banners and posters and flyers that you can use. Sometimes a bit of local press every now and again, if there's an opportunity, 
um, as well. So, um, you know, we do lots and lots of activity to make sure that golf clubs are, are delivering some fantastic results. This is an example here of the CRM that we use. So, uh, the Southwark Golf Club, Southwark Park Golf Club is a golf club on the south coast in Portsmouth. Um, every golf club uh, has the ability to see this dashboard. So, making sure that you've got full visibility of of what is happening and and the and the and the and the work that we are doing together as a as a, as a partnership. Like I said, we deliver lots of activity, so marketing activity to make sure we get those joiners for both uh, the club and ourselves. Uh, we provide that specific club club specific bespoke CRM for each club, and we also have like a premium level of service if you if you like um, a, a membership team of five people who help convert the inquiries through to a membership sale for each golf club that we work with. But like I said, most golf clubs tend to do it themselves. And the fifth thing to do to make sure that we've got the ability and you've got the ability to a club to generate a hundred new, new members is to develop a member friendly platform for simple online booking. And that increases retention, but also re increases referral opportunities. And also, to be fair, an additional layer of that is to make sure that you've got no administration to do. You know, you can sit back in comfort that your flexible membership category is being administrated and operated 24-7 the way it should be. And that is really important for you at a club um, to make sure that you're comfortable that it's being administrated and yielded properly to your needs. And that makes sure that there is next to none of your full members transfer to your flexible category because it is operated properly which is really really important for you um, we also do all of the retention activities as well as referral for golf clubs so when people join you do not need to worry about the retention of these people because that is automatically done on our online platform so um, the 83 percent renewal retention that we spoke about last year is maintaining through the first five months of this year is 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 uh, is pretty much similar, just over the eighty percent mark, um, and it makes life really easy for you at the club as well. Because if you're joining up lots of people with us, then that's fantastic. You don't have to then start sending them renewal reminders the following year either. So that's all done for you. So just as a, a brief reminder of what to do if you're looking to add in some new high value flexible members to your club develop an efficient yield yield managed point system drive um drive um member rounds to quiet times on your golf course it's guaranteed contracted membership revenue um uh, removes the risk of weather dependent green fee revenue develop a real-time online booking platform and again, you know, an app is perfect for that to make sure the points are managed properly uh, on, and you have that comfort that that's been done. You retain control of your T-shirt. It removes any downgrade risk from your four members, although it can retain the odd one, two, three or four members that maybe would have left. Have complete control, drives ancillary revenue, obviously highly managed reciprocal revenue driver from all of those golf courses and members across the country. Be proactive, have a CRM to increase productivity, have focused and skilled sales management support, and obviously have that automated referral and retention to maximize your profitability and productivity of your flexible members. So just gonna show you a couple of examples. Um, these were the first couple of months that Bruff operated with us. Now, you may have noticed earlier that on average, we generate between 25 and 40 inquiries per club per month. Bruff were significantly higher than that. They really embraced uh, what we did um, and how we work and operate with them. So Richard, you know, has got a really good past member, people that have left their club over the years. So they were able to, we gave them some uh, content to send to those people, um, which really uh, tied in with all the activity we were doing, really helped get off to a flying start. So although there's still two, only 30 people of 230 have joined, there's lots in that, lots and lots of inquiries still to join at certain periods of time. Lots of profitability and a really high value yield per member. That will decrease, but on average, I believe Bruff's flexible members will be worth to the club 
in the region of about 50 to 60 pound per round by the time they've come through their first 12 months. Burstall Golf Club, another lovely members club in Leicestershire, going for a bit longer. Um, not joined up as many as Bruff, but again, a really good performing, nice performing club. And obviously a yield that's very healthy over a six month period. Hillsborough Golf Club as well. Um, after a two year period, um, you know, uh, over a longer period, you can see, you know, it's significantly the significant profitability of the club there over six, nearly £62,000 of profit. And obviously because they've traded for a two year period, their value per round is still very high versus their full members, but it still sits at over £23 per round. So in summary, um, um, in summary, an average performing club that we work with joins up in the region of 72 new members per year. So that's six members per month on average. This time of year is a great time to be looking at it. Lots of clubs have come through your membership renewal, come into season, although I'm looking out my window at the moment, it's not very sunny, the sun will start to shine at some point. So people, I'm one of them. My golf clubs are going from the, my garage into the back seat of my car, ready to play a little bit more frequently. Great retention tools. A club, an average performing club within a three year period receive £90,000 worth of additional profit over, the, over, an addition, over a three year period. Obviously it's a very valuable customer to that golf club as well. Remember that yield per round, this is contracted revenue as well, all up front like a normal membership, what, what the golf club have, 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 have received. Remember as well that 65% of those flexible members joining are playing most of their golf at off-peak times. Um, people upgrade at the end of their year as well to your full membership, so they may well join for £325, £455 on a Play More Golf membership, but they may well go on and join and be a £1,200 member within the club as well. So, we're coming to the end now, which is, uh, which, which is great for you guys. We're 22 minutes in, so we're well within the, the 30 minutes. If you've got any questions, feel free to add, uh, click that chat button. Um, but what we're going to go through now is that you've stayed until the end of this session, so thanks for that. Um, I'm just going to give you some headline um, numbers. and You've actually qualified yourself for an exclusive GCNA partnership offer. So our standard license fee per Per, per year for a club is, is uh, £3,000, just less than £3,000 plus VAT. However, the next five clubs um, will be able to receive a £1,250 plus VAT discount, which in actual fact is fixed for the first two years of an, a partnership with a golf club. We will also give you a 100% profit guarantee, removes any shall I say, perceived risk from, uh, from a golf, from your point of view. So it's a great opportunity to become a partner. Um, and this is a partnership. We're at Play More Golf, we are only profitable and, and, and successful when people join because believe it or not, even on a full partnership license fee, that just about covers our fixed costs. So um, if it gives you some comfort, we're actually starting... Um, in a, in a negative position on a partnership with you. So we need to make sure that people are joining your club for us to become successful, but also at the same time, you are securing over a three year period, 90,000 pounds worth of profit. So what next, what are the next steps? So we'll make it really easy for, for you guys at the club. Um, we know you're busy, um, got lots of things to do, um, but we just need to start a conversation with you to give you that information to make sure that it works for you as a club. So the next step is that myself or, or a member of, my, of our team will send you a link to a recording of this webinar. You can have a recap yourself or you can share that within the management team of your club, board members, council members, committee members, treasurers, uh, marketing directors, chairman, chair ladies, you can, you can share it internally with whoever you wish at your club. We will then set, have a one-to-one -one call um, just to go through a little bit more detail on what suits your club. We will even come and see you and your board or committee or council members 
because it's really important. The last point here is it's no hard sell. We just want to make sure that we are right for you. And at the same time, you are right for us to make sure this is going to be really successful, akin to the likes of a Burstall or a Scarcroft or a Hillsborough or a Corehampton Golf Club down south or a Southwark Park um, or a Melton Mowbray, all the clubs that we work with to make sure that this is going to be right for us. Because because this is a partnership between ourselves. We need to make sure this works for you at the same time. That really works well for us. So uh, we're in it for the long haul with each and every club that we work with and the future clubs that we work with. And we would love you to be able to piggyback the success we are having with other golf clubs um, that we've seen over, over the period of time. So um, nothing more for the me to say. To say thank you very much, everybody, for your time today. Like I said, we'll be in touch um, over the next 24 hours just to send you that recording and then we can just start a conversation between ourselves and your club and the officers within your club just to give you the relevant, all the relevant information of, uh, of how we work with the golf club. So thank you very much, everybody, for your time. Really appreciate it. Hope you have a, if I don't speak to you personally, I hope you have a great golf season ahead of you. Um, and, uh, and hopefully a really successful year. So we'll speak soon. Thank you very much.